What's going on homies, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a full follow along 10 minute ball mastery session. This ball mastery session is direct from my app. If you wanna check out the app, you can get on it. Just go down below, check out the link, seven days free. If not, just work along with this 10 minute ball mastery session. There's gonna be 10 drills. We're gonna be working for one minute on each drill. As I always say, the first 30 seconds, we're gonna groove the movement. Last 30 seconds, we're gonna be working as quickly as we possibly can while keeping proper control, proper technique of the ball. Without further ado, let's get into it. So before you get into the workout, make sure you do a 10 to 15 minute solid warm up. As I always say, warm up is not sexy, but it's essential for you to prevent injury and perform the best you can during your session. If you don't do a warm up and you're just going cold, you're not gonna get the most out of your session. Maybe you can get 60, 70%, but we want 100%. We're here to get better. And as you see, you don't need a big space. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build like a five by five, four by four box. So you can do this in your bedroom, you can do this in your living room, in your garage, and then we're just gonna be working in that. It's a close ball mastery session, really just getting a lot of touches, getting comfortable with the ball. And like I said, this session is straight from my app, so you're gonna be hearing a lot of my voice today. First thing we're working is some simple toe taps. So you're just gonna be on top of the ball, coordinating the arms with the legs. As I said before, 30 seconds slow to get into it. And then the last 30 seconds as quick as you can. Three, two. Listen to the master. Try to get the head up if you can. If you're a beginner, just look at the ball. You wanna be on the balls of your feet the entire time. Just being quick, up and down, coordinating the arms with the legs. 15 seconds down, 15 seconds to go before we go as quick as we can. They head up a little bit. So 30 seconds down, now we speed it up. Good. About 30 seconds to a minute rest, and then we move on to the next one. So we work the soles of the feet. Next thing we're doing, we're working the insides of the feet. So foundation of the ball in between the feet. Slow first. seconds down just getting a feel for the ball feel for the ground feel for my shoes and look up a little bit worked legs yesterday definitely feeling it 30 seconds to go As you see, the ball's a bit sticky. Not used to the ball, but can't complain. You gotta get after it. Next, we're just gonna be working a simple roll to stop. So you're rolling that ball across, stopping the ball. Rolling that ball across, stopping the ball. Rolling that ball across, stopping the ball. So getting more comfortable with the sole. Really being precise here. First 30 seconds are very, very slow. Just get used to it. You can even walk walking pace, just get comfortable with the ball. 15 seconds to go, a slow pace. Now we speed it up.
about 30 seconds to 60 seconds rest. And we go on to the next exercise. Next, we're gonna be working a run over to an outside touch. So it's just gonna be this simple outside, pull behind. Outside, pull behind. Outside, pull behind. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a step with that other leg. So boom, step, run over. Boom, step, run over. Boom, as you see, this leg is already turning in the direction I wanna go and then running over. So, first 30 very slow, almost slow motion. Boom, boom. seconds are almost up. Now we're gonna speed it up. Next thing we're working is a simple V open. So we're creating a V with the ball. Boom, boom. Pulling the ball into our body, opening up the inside to the other cone. Boom, boom. As you get better, you add more game realistic movements, you become more aggressive with the movement. But as always, you start simple, get it down and then you go quicker. seconds down, now we're starting to get more aggressive. So next thing we're working, we're working with both feet, a simple outside to inside, outside to inside, outside to inside. Getting as many touches as we can, being as sharp as possible, and that's a wrap. Ball's real sticky, so gotta get around it. Figure out where you're working, what you're working with, and adapt. Now we go quicker. Next thing we're gonna work is a simple outside touch to Cruyff 
cut behind. Outside touch to Cruyff cut behind. Outside touch to Cruyff cut behind. You really gotta get around that ball and cut that ball back. Three. As always, start slow. Boom, get your rhythm, boom. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click one of these two videos right here to stay up to date with the best football development channel here on YouTube. And most importantly, don't forget to drink your sparkling water. Deuces.